have to absolutely congratulate. Yeah, good shit, Panky. All right, up now. Pinky is in the money. Pinky gets third. All right, now we got grand. We have grand finals. We have. It's honestly like the first time we've seen like Joker top three in SA. Yeah. Like no one plays that character. We have a few of them, but none of them like super regular attenders. We have like what Matt and Claire mm. are both known Joker players, but neither of them are super frequent. I'm trying to think who else. Yeah, they don't come a lot. There are other ones I'm missing. Not like, not people who play um, Joker often. No, some yeah. Like I don't think Ghost has like a Joker, sure. I think, yeah. But Ghost does have a lot of characters. Well, like, it was whether, and whether we'd see like, could his Joker take a top three in a tournament these days? Yeah. Or do you reckon SA is now too, like generally stacked to pull that off? Who's? Um, Joker, uh, Ghost's Joker. I think if you practice enough. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying like in its current state, like if he showed up next week and started going Joker. I think so. You reckon? Yeah, taking the top oh, they're, three. They're photo. taking the top three photo. I might ask if um someone else wants to jump on comms. Jump on comms for the last. I'm gonna see it out. I've been here this entire tournament, so I might as well see out grands. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, I've well the two of us have been on comms for most of this because it's like the new stream PC that we're kind of christening. Yeah. Much of our time, much of a few other people's time, donations. It's an incredible project. I'm very happy. It's basically done. We can now like run streams on this every week. Yeah. And we're yeah, using. I'll, I'll for now. We get to uh, steal the uni internet for VOD uploading. Yeah, which is very exciting. Oh, yeah, it's like a lot of RAM, so it's like good for like rendering yeah. as well. We could honestly start doing VOD rendering on it. We'll have to. These are all future projects. It has a disc reader. Get ready for a commemorative Big <laughs> Cheese Three DVD. It's <laughs> <laughs> not burning this shit. I'm like, just picturing like a shitty disc with like Smash Bros. printed on there, and then just like Sharpie Big Cheese Three. Yeah, yeah. If you're in the future watching this VOD on a DVD in your home right now, hi. Hey. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, hang on. Let's uh. Alright. I feel like um, Brad's done. Brad's fought a lot of Mithras lately. He has. He's had some like rough experiences with him, but I think he's like gotten better at it. I think yeah, he's got. He's it. forced Ghost onto Brawler a few times, and I think the record between these two, like in this matchup in particular, is I want to say Brad favored. I think so. It's always like weird with these two. Like Brad wins more often, and then. But sometimes, sometimes Q just like fucks him up. And we got like, like a Yoshi or something. He's like, oh, I think like yeah. Yeah, like, Q is like ever changing. Like you will, you can beat Q one week and then get just shit on by in the next week because it's like constantly moving goalposts with constantly different characters. Yeah. You gotta respect it though. Oh, absolutely. Oh, guess again. Brad not happy about that one. That yeah. wouldn't be either. Yeah. Yeah, down to a fair. The classic. Head to head is 29 Taicho, 9 Q. I want to see like how much of that like is with what characters. Yeah, what I characters. Like, I want to see like with the Yoshi. Is if you can do me an absolute solid tie, are you able to get up? Yeah, like the character data for particularly the nine like one sets for Q. I'm curious to like what works and what doesn't. Yeah. I think it would be like some Mithra and maybe like and like a few, a few Yoshis. Yoshis yeah. In there. I like that. Ooh. Like you've seen oh. Q go for that a lot. Like that's super scary when it works. Yeah. Uh, I mean we're comms. I'll ha uh, I'm probably not going to eat it till after comms. So just we can bring it over if you want. Yeah. Okay bring it over. Yeah. Th thank you. Big ups, like Oh, I lost my attention and Q died. Yeah, then in C. He SD'd to a just like recovery too low. Oh, no, it wasn't SD, but he was caught too low. Tried to up his Mithra and just didn't make it. Yeah. Right now we're getting that, um. Oh, shit. Commentator privilege, having people bring us food. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, look at that. Are they both the same? Brilliant. Thank you very much. 
I didn't even ask for which strength. I'm hoping it was a surprise. <gasps> Yum. Thank you. Okay. So we're going into game two. I'm wondering whether we're going to see like a long grands or a 3-0. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, that one was close, to be fair. Yeah. We saw the cheeky, like, pyro neutral B to just stage back Brad. Undetectable. Definitely some weird options here. I think, like, they both have some. Like, mm. you know, do stuff like that, and, like, Brad would do something like wild off stage countering and stuff. Oh, I, yeah, I love the way Brad, like, sometimes you'll see him play, like, a completely, like, in no disrespect, meant, like, flowcharty, optimal Greninja. Yeah. Like, just does all the things correctly, waits on every interaction. Perfect. And then you watch him go off stage and like run off side B or like drop counter or some yeah. wacky stuff. Like just drop full charge shuriken. Oh yeah, I don't know. Like what there's you mean. some. Yeah. Every now and again, he just sprinkles in like wacky things to keep you on your toes, so to speak. Oh ho ho! Nair up smash. It's a lot of damage. Free Yoshi Karin Palu. That makes sense. He had some trouble with Karin. Oh yeah, hey, the Q Karin is actually like one I don't really think about much. Even though it was on the PR, it's like a... Well, yeah, it was pretty solid. It was very solid like previous season, but he's been playing a lot of Pyre and a lot of Mithra this season. There it, oh, there it is. Oh, he got like the um, platform like, mm. like there, like started going towards it. Yeah. Okay, Q with a decent lead at the moment. This is something we've seen like Brad turn around before though. Yeah. Goes for another counter there, expecting an upbeat. Oh, not the punish you want there. Tries to punish, gets grabbed. Foresight. I'm just picturing Brad trying to not get mad at, like, <laughs> nothing bad even happened, but it's just the knowing that your back edge got nullified. Like, you tried yeah. to do it, it got foresighted. It's like, I guess I'll go fuck myself. Try again next time. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. off stage, pokes. Oh, lands on that platform. That's. Yeah. Would have been a very yeah. awkward recovery otherwise. King's a good platform mark here. Yeah. The town platforms can create a lot of jank, but like. Like, certain times they can be used yeah, very well. Yeah, that's definitely a reasonable way of looking at it. Okay, Brad off the top. One stock left. A lot of like ultimate stages don't have as much weird stuff. But like Town can Town is definitely the weirdest of the legal stages in the unified rule set. I want to say like the, the Randall factor, you know? It's the Randall, yeah, it's absolutely like it's like not it's not weird enough you, you wanna like get rid of it, it's just like kinda like you some just weird live with aspect. it, but it yeah. is like you think about it and you're like, hang on, this is very strange. Yeah. So game two looking very good for Q right now. Obviously, Brad gets getting something started. Oh, yeah. Building up right now. Okay, he finds that rapid jab. We're going to see a Pyro Swap? Not yet. Lightning Buster. There's the Pyro Swap. Not going to run a stage. Careful. Doesn't want to risk it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, recovering, Whoa. like, going for both an edge guard and, like, recovering as Pyromethra is hard. That's true. They don't really have the tools to. So they do, like, Pyro in particular has, like, Ooh, the that big edge guard. Oh, oh. foresight. That was goofy. Like, I'm so, like surprised by like three things in one interaction there. Yeah. Like the final hit of Lightning Buster not hitting Brad into Brad's punish getting foresighted <laughs> and he just dies. Yeah. You get hit by that, it's like, uh, okay. That wouldn't happen to Mike Kazuya though. No, it wouldn't happen to Mike Kazuya either. Either of us. God, I'm so keen to fucking like two of us. Like, there's gonna be some motherfucker, like, some cheese league in six months, that, like, gets fucking 25th because they lost to, like, my Kazuya and to your Kazuya. <laughs> and they're not gonna be happy. <laughs> Kazuya doubles? Fuck, Double I, didn't, Kazuya. Oh I, didn't, I didn't even consider this. <sighs> That's tempting. Just, like, fucking two Kazuyas, like, dual, we get like, green back session. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting the band back together. The, old, the Oscar Versky doubles team that happened that one time. <laughs> happened one time because Vivi wasn't there. Yeah, because Vivi wasn't there. Vivi who? Nah, don't worry about it. 
<laughs> Double Kazir. The new wave. New wave. I'm just thinking, like, not necessarily double Kazuya, but just Kazuya in doubles. Like, yeah. You're like, especially in 2v1, like, Kazuya's just 10 hit comboing someone while, like, Bowser's standing on the other side, just, like, fully charging now, smash. You're like two, you're like two, uh, Kazuyas, and they're, like, both 10 hitting someone from either side. Aw, uh, there's probably some, like, actual bullshit, yeah, like, you could do that. Yeah. I think there's a lot of just doubles bullshit in general that's kind of unexplored. Would, like, I know in two v ones, like everyone has an infinite. Like any, you could pick any two co uh, characters, and they probably have an infinite you could learn. Yeah, in like simple ones, they are jab, jab. Yeah. I'm wondering, like, in the same way that I'm assuming Ryu and Ken can like infinite, probably. If you have like double Ryu or double Ken, that you can like alternate focuses. Probably, yeah. Do you I reckon you could do that with like Kazuya's crumple? Cause that'd be kind of sick. <laughs> like you, oh, you probably can't like crumple into crumple. That's probably not like. Probably have some like thinly veiled mechanics, like try to not exploit it, but like you can still exploit it, you know? Yeah, I mean, a lot of characters in the game are like that. Look at like Steve. Yeah, like, like Steve. They have programmed so many little like thingies to th try to stop things from being stupid and broken. But they are stupid and broken. They're stupid and broken. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. It's gonna be very interesting how he ends up playing. Like, what is this egg game gonna be like? Oh, yeah, because we saw nothing about that. I'm gonna assume non existent. Oh, fuck. That's an unfortunate place to be sent. My, like, gut reaction says, like, better Little Mac. Like... Maybe. But he does have, like... He did go into devil mode and, like... Um, he did start doing cool shit in devil mode, yeah. Like, maybe that's why how they explain he has a, any sort of, like, decent air game. is because, oh, he's mm. in devil mode, he has wings now. What if he just has three jumps? Oh, uh -huh, no. Again, like... This is pretty even, so we got Tacho finding that stock. But Q with a bit of a lead. That's about to disappear, I think. Mm. Not quite, but guess again. Brad really overcommitted by uh Wait, so he does have three jumps in the trailer? We did see like jumps. Like we did see many jumps in the trailer. Oh, man. Oh no. <laughs> oh but yeah. Even if he doesn't have like good aerials, if he I'm just has even, like air tools, he's fine. I'm not even sure if Devil is like a different mode. We it's don't. Like, yeah, they haven't explained it. If it's just like some of the attacks like look like a Devil. Yeah. I'm so excited to watch this VOD like months from now, and we can reminisce on the days before Kazuya. Yeah. How simple times were. <laughs> before they, everyone learned his infinite. Yeah. <laughs> Kazobble, not call it or some shit. Kazobble. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hang on. What are we going? Like he does have an electric Ball input, throw. and it like kills it with 40. <laughs> it would. Oh shit, Brad nearly died there. Lands with an air though. Hey, yeah, that's pretty close. Hold that shield. Uh, no punish. You can't. You can't punish Mithra. That's not how that works. You cannot. I know you were saying like um. Not. Oh my lord. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's run up. You run up, up smash his shield. The fucking nerve. That's incredible. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. I'm willing to bet it's like Sephiroth Wing, where it just happens passively. Maybe. But it's the fact there's no visual indication of it. Because he like... He goes in and out of devil. He goes mode. in and out of devil mode at will for certain attacks. So I don't know. I'm also pretty sure he has a command grab. I don't know about a command grab. No, he we see him do um fucking kings, whatever the fuck it's called. I forget what it's called, hang on. It's not like much of a grapple though, so I can't imagine like out of like sure. all the, like many moves that incorporate that. But maybe. But like it might just be one of the throws. It's like a back throw, though. And we see him do a different back throw. He does look the legs flip over your body. Hmm. So, I'm... Yeah, I'm curious. Maybe just has multiple shit. 
We'll have to have a look. Maybe he just literally has like two separate forms. It's like Pyron Mithra, but it's the same guy. <laughs> Gates of Hell, that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, Gates of, he does Gates of Hell. Okay. In the trailer, which is his command grab in Tekken 7. Or in Tekken in general. I can see it being just different animations. Like, oh, that's actually. I mean, I could see works. it being a different animation, but I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah. It looks like very fancy and cinematic. Hmm. No, yeah, the leg judo throw is his back throw. And that's the thing, like, Gates of Hell, like, looks fancy and not like a normal throw. He's actually a grappler and, like, has three jumps and shit. Three and jumps and a command grab. Oh, I'm gonna fucking... I'd complain if I had, like, had to fight him, but... <laughs> Maybe you will have to fight him. I mean, I will have to fight that's him. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like... I can complain about any character, but when I'm playing dittos, I'm like... If yeah. they can do it, I can do it. Like, that's not a problem. Right, Brad's, um... Brad's three, three up. This is really good for Brad. Yeah. We'll say we're seeing a game five, I would imagine. Sorry if these guys look back at the VOD and we're just talking about cars here, but... What are yeah. You, what are you gonna do? But they'll understand when, yep. like, they're from a future timeline in which Kazuya exists and they have to fight against him. Yeah, like, yeah, they'll know. They'll understand why we were concerned about some of these aspects. <laughs> <laughs> God, remember how simple times were? Back in the day. <laughs> back before... All game. new in the future. You think you have it so good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe these like the dark times. Fuck. Yeah, these. <laughs> it's like reverse Smash 4 like, timeline where like the game was great and then they added some DLC that like kind of ruined it. Yeah. They added the DLC that fixed the game. <laughs> it has been kind of rough so far. Like, Boobs McFuck and Tits McGee. <laughs> they <laughs> most recently added like Oh, can this you imagine? Here. Like, same patch, Kazuki gets added, they get nerfed. They nerf Pyron Mitha? Oh my lord. Dude, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, look, let's not get too carried away here. They're gonna nerf, like, fucking Duck Hunt, because... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. They're gonna somehow make Gren's multi-hits worse. <laughs> Speaking of, we haven't seen too much multi-hit jank this game from Brad. Yeah. He's actually been pretty consistent with his, like... Hit all of his up smashes, hit all of his like back airs. I I think he's got like oh, he's got on. he's gotten them to a point where he knows when he yeah. should not use them. Back throw grab forward throw. Yeah, we're good. Not back throw, uh, back air. Sorry, back air grab forward throw. Going to game five. We are in fact going to game five. I am very interested to see how this goes. We might see a reset from Q. Maybe is it it's within the realm of possibility. Looked more uh, Brad looked more confident in that game. He yeah like seeing three stocks up to one at a point. Yeah, we're not going back to small battlefield. I don't think that's... He looks like he's having to think about who to pick. Is he going back? He's gone yeah. back. A full set of one character from Q is a bit of a rarity. Yeah, he's well, we see it often. It's it was sort of often. Mm. Yeah, Steel Paddle Drop, that's the name. It's Judo like Throw. Which, speaking of, how does he do that to, like, Rob, who doesn't have legs? <laughs> Just, like, I kick him in the tracks. I don't know. Right in the neutral beam. Do you have to wonder like what Kazuya back throw looks like on characters like that don't have legs? Even, we don't even know that it's a back throw. It's like okay, sure. His forward throw and it turns it around. Okay, well, ignoring calling it the back throw, like seeing steel pedal drop. Yeah. Like, how does that work on characters without legs? Which there are a few of in this game. I, I assume it would be some jank animations, like a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. Picturing like Kirby getting like that. At least he has feet, but like, huh. I don't know how that'll work. Yeah. So we're going into game five here. This is a counter from Brad that's gonna almost kill Q. He's looking for like something cheeky with water. Yeah, I can imagine. Plant doesn't have legs. Rob doesn't have any form of legs I'm or feet. Tripping. Meta Knight and like um, Kirby are both just orbs. Same with like DDD. You can still kick him in whatever looks not like kicking a shin. Them. He's not <laughs> kicking them though. He's doing like a judo throw. Yeah, you still like. Yeah, we have to like. He's like lifting their leg over his shoulder to flip them. Is my point. I don't know. You got him. You the same? Yeah, it'd be a bit weird. It's the, like. Like yeah, your leading leg goes over his shoulder and he flips you on your back. 
how the fuck do you do that without that'd legs? Be, that'd be fun to see, though. Right? I'm very interested. Like, kind of just be some sort of placing him. Yeah. Where it's like, you have specifically the distinction of, like, characters without long enough legs to... I'm thinking about look. how, like, Snake... Bowser Jr.? I was going to say, like, how Snake cracks people's... Like, everyone's neck beam if they don't have one. Yeah, true, true, true. It is, it is just going to be the one animation. Like, I'm not expecting anything different, but... It's going to be funny looking. Have you seen, like, um... Duck just the, like... <laughs> did you see that? Like, the dashing gameplay, like... They're just both dashing into each other and, like... Staying grounded the whole time until someone like no, I didn't see that. decided to like rip a smash attack. Ooh. Okay, Brad, quick to even it up. I should probably clarify that like this is Q from loser's side. Oh yeah, good about that. Eh? So if Brad takes this, this is the set. But if Q takes this, we got grands two. Grands two. Oh, Brad going Ooh, deep. Fuck. I think he's dead for that. Yeah. Yeah. Looked like he almost made it, but no. Not quite enough range on that. Brad looking up to seal it out right now. Getting another, oh. getting another tournament under his belt. Be yeah, good two in him. a row. I don't know if I've seen two in a row from him. Before. Might have. Yeah, Brad's looking really solid this season. Yeah. Like, beating Ghost is not something mm. anyone does often. He's going to majors before and fuck yeah. him up. <laughs> Brad waits and like, oh, still comes Ooh. the uppy past yeah. the ledge. Okay, note yourself. I'm not going to talk about Tekken until this game's over. Another back air. Q edging high to the ledge. You like Ooh. only a stock away from like Q has to find this reset, whereas Brad can just end the tournament here if he finds a good hit. Yeah, he's but definitely like, got a good lead. He's, he's like kill confirm percent as well. If like Brad finds like a dash attack or a down tilt, it's not a good position for that's him. gonna spell disaster for Q. Hang on, Brad getting kind of juggled a bit. You can see Brad looking for the like drag down back here F smash. Yeah, just not quite. He also sealed this up. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to, like, play another set of this, because these are, like... These characters are a bit volatile. Sometimes you just die to shit. Absolutely. That's the there tournament. That's all she wrote. Gee, jeez. Brad is your champion for this one. Congratulations to... Big old... He's... And he's still... He's so comfy. He's so comfy. Winner of the tournament. Winner of the comfiness. Look at him. You got...